Hello everyone, this is Brooke, and today I'd like to do a video about my favorite makeup brand, MAC, specifically their lipsticks, because I was requested to do a video by Shavala Loves Makeup, who wanted to see what my favorite MAC lipsticks were. And that was a great topic for me because I love, like I said, I love MAC and I love their lipsticks. Now, I'm going to quickly go through what my five favorite lipsticks are and kind of give you a swatch and my impression of them and how I style them. And then I have some exciting news for you at the end. So if you're interested, just keep watching. Okay, the first lipstick that I like from MAC is called Fluid. It's the one that I'm wearing right now. I figured it would be really nice to wear with a dark, heavy eye so that it would kind of neutralize the bottom of my face and give more attention to my eyes. This is what it looks like. In the stick, it looks a lot darker than what it does apply like. Um, I would say this is a coppery rose color, but it goes on as a neutral. Um, it's good for all skin types and it is a frost so it's very moisturizing and it's something that I don't use with lip gloss because it does have enough of its own shine and I love this color so much that I keep it in my vanity I keep it in my purse and I also have one for backup so this is what it looks like I'll swatch it for you right here it's not going to show up very well because it's kind of skin tone but that's what it looks like and it's um, coming up a little bit darker here than it does as you can see on my lips there but um, it's a very frosty color you can see it's really throwing a lot of light and I think it's beautiful so that's my first favorite and it is fluid the next one that I like is called rebel and a lot of people love this color it is a satin finish and it looks like this it's a deep plum color that I think looks a little fuchsia when it is applied. So I'll swatch it for you right here. This is what it looks like on. It's, see, it's a lot lighter on my skin than it looks on the stick. A lot of matte colors se seem to do that for me, so I always want to make sure I try them on. But Rebel is great. It's a very popular color and I think it's very versatile. I like to wear it when I wear things with black and darker colors that I just want my lips to pop and stand out. Rebel does have a matching lip glass which is great to layer. Um, it is a satin finish so it does uh, apply some moisture and throw a little bit of light but it's not the most moisturizing thing in the world and it does last on your lips. So that's Rebel. The next color that I love is called Diva. And I was first drawn to it because of the name. But then when I saw it, it looks like this. It looks kind of like a really dark, rusty red color. And I don't have anything like this in my collection. Um, it's great for days where I wear uh, kind of like a dusty pink. I think it really looks good. It is a matte finish, so it's something that you might want to wear with lip glass because it's not the most moisturizing thing in the world, but it does have a long-lasting staying power. I'll swatch it for you right here. This is what it looks like. It looks a lot like Rebel, but up close, I don't know if you can pick up on the screen. First of all, it does have a matte, so it's not throwing any light, and then also it is um, much more of a brick red color. So that one is Diva. The next color that I like is called Hang Up. Now it is something I discovered this summer. It looked wonderful with summer clothes and the lighter colors. It looks again dark in the tube but when I apply it, it brightens up. Um, there's Hang Up right there. I would call this a dark fuchsia, whereas this is more of a brick red, and this is more of a plum color that is rebel. So it's really pretty. It's a cream sheen, which is, you know, it's going to be extra creamy, 
and it's going to um, be moisturizing. I still like to wear a little bit of lip gloss with it because I think that it gives it more of a pop and um, it, it really looks good with hot pink and other bright colors. So the last one is called Film Noir and it is a color that I discovered this past fall because I discovered in my closet was I had a lot of chocolate brown that I wear with pink and I wanted something to bring that color out in my lips. So I got this color. Like I said, it's called Film Noir. It's a very deep, rich chocolate brown color. It is a satin, so it does throw a little bit of light, but it is moisturizing at the same time. It looks like this. This is what it looks like on the lips. It is dark. I, when I'm in a vampy mood, this is the color that I go for and um, it looks great with neutral natural color makeup um, you know your beiges and your browns and your blacks and I think it just looks really really good there's a lip glass called chestnut that is even darker than this that I like to layer with it and I just think it looks really good especially in the fall and in the winter so that's film noir it is a satin and that are my five favorite MAC lip lipsticks and I hope you enjoyed and I just want to say too that I am very happy these days because I just reached 500 subscribers I started my channel back in April and this is a big milestone for me I've been watching for that number for a long time and to say thank you for everyone who has subscribed to my channel and thanks for your support I am doing a giveaway I'm going to give away a set of the five colors that I talked about in this video the hang up film noir diva fluid and rebel will all go to one person who wins the contest and the only thing you have to do to win this contest is to be a subscriber and to leave a comment on this video that says your favorite Mac lipstick and if you're not into Mac lipsticks tell me your favorite brand and color and you only have to enter once and I will choose the winner randomly I will leave this contest open for two weeks yeah for two weeks and I'll leave the end date down in the description bar so you know exactly when it's going to end and when the contest is over I will randomly choose a winner and the winner can be international the only thing I ask is that if you're under 18 you have your parents permission so that I can mail something to you and I will announce the winner on my Twitter feed, which is twitter.com slash pink to Paris. I will also send a direct message to on YouTube to the winner, letting you know that you have ooh, 48 hours to reply. And if I don't get a reply in 48 hours, then I'll go to the next person. So that's basically the contest. I'll leave more rules and descriptions down below. And thank you so much for watching this video. Bye-bye.